What's up, everybody? Grace Jill's back. Grace Jill's back with another video. Sorry that it's taken me so long to get videos done. Um, between work, between my actual life, between trying to trying to excel in what I do, it's just been tough making videos. So we're back, and we're in Photoshop. You may be asking yourself, Grace Jill, why are we in Photoshop? You do all your work traditionally. Why? What? What? What's? What's? What's the deal, bro? What's the deal? Well, guess what? I got a drawing tablet. That's right. I got a drawing tablet. It's a tiny ass little thing. It's about yay by yay, and uh, you know, it's uh, it it does what we need it to do. But we're in here because we're doing a little bit of a review. I got a XP pen. Um, somebody's Star G640. That's what I got. It's tiny. It's about um, maybe like four by six inches, something like that. And uh, it's kind of small. But you know what? We're gonna make do. The issue is, is that the main issue that I have is that it's small, and I got big hands. I can hold a basketball with one hand almost. Um, so it is tough, and I find myself having to zoom out to do longer lines or do like sketchy lines, like. You know, like, uh, like this, you know, something like that. A little bit cleaner, but but it's it's been an eye-opening experience because I've been able to do uh, I've been able to do sketches and stuff without wasting paper. It's been actually kind of nice. Uh, a little bit more control when it comes to erasing and um, fine-tuning lines if I mess things up. Um, I don't do any sort of, for lack of a better term, cheating, like drawing things and then. Um, like drawing drawing a square and then like messing up a line here and like cutting it there and you know turning it I don't do any anything like that um, I just pretty much just treat it like I do a regular pen and paper or pencil and paper just it gives me a digital atmosphere to be able to have a little bit more control so the toughest thing though that I've, I've been finding not only is the size but the control on a on a smooth surface um, I like my paper to have some tooth to it so I can kind of have a little bit more control. Now, I could probably do a circle a lot quicker on a piece of paper than I can on here, but it, it gets the job done. And then in, in this case, I could come in and erase a little bit and kind of clean things up. And that's the one thing I like. At the touch of a finger, I can have an eraser and um, I can be a little bit more precise. Zoom in at the click of a finger, zoom out, kind of zoom out and gauge how my work's looking, zoom all the way in. Um, if you've used tablets before, this probably isn't the review for you because I'm going based on an almost first-hand experience. Uh, I had a tablet a while ago, but never really dove into using it as much as I would have liked to. Um, I did one project on it many a year ago, and... Um, but that was really the extent of it, and that was before I'd really started to take off with my art. So with a little bit of work, that's the best circle I can come up with. Now granted, um, we're not just going to be sitting here drawing circles. I'm going to do a couple of other things, and I'm going to show you a project that I'm working on using strictly only the, this, uh, this tablet. So we got our circle here, and what I want to do is I want to... That so that represents the side of the head because if you take if you take a head and look at it from the front, you know it, it's not just these circles because if you if you because if you separate it, if you take the front view of the head, you actually cut off these sides because your skull is not round on the sides; it's got flat planes on the sides. So that's what this represents right here. So we're just going to do a quick drawing, best we can, maybe of a skull. So the hairline is going to be about here, bottom of the jawline is going to be about here, and I do the rule of thirds. So third, 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 third. So eyebrow line is going to be here. And this comes around. B 
Boom. Boom shot a freaking lot to tough actin tin actin. Look at that. We got a basic head shape. And this is strictly with the tablet. I've been using this now for uh when did I get this? Two months maybe? And uh, I really haven't used it much. I maybe used a total of about maybe 12 hours, 14 hours. But a lot of the knowledge I have is obviously transferable because the knowledge doesn't change. It's just the technique and using a different surface. So eye line. And then we're going to let's do a skull. So we're going to jaw lines going to come out. So here's the eyebrow line. This will be the bottom of the nose, and this will be the bottom of the chin. So the nose. So I'm kind of on autopilot right now, just doing a quick sketch. Of a skull here, and I'm actually, oops, let's not do that. I'm actually going to zoom in just a little bit. And the thing that's nice about drawing with the tablet that I've enjoyed is having everything at the touch of a finger. So we got the brush, got the eraser I can switch to and erase things, go back to the brush, hand tool, move things around, I can do an eyedropper, zoom, obviously, rotate. Whoa! Okay, that's enough of that. Yeah, it's having everything so accessible is is quite nice. That's the one thing that I've enjoyed the most from uh, drawing digitally. Now, it has its it has its pros and it has its cons. Uh, the people switching from digital or from traditional to digital, I just personally like the feel more of a um, pencil and paper. That's personal preference. That's um, that's that's just what I like. Now, granted, um, you know, digital might not be for you. You might not want to switch. The main reason that I'm working any digital work whatsoever, and this is actually kind of turning out like shit, um, is so I can do stuff like this. Now, this I created. Uh, I started working on this a couple of days ago. And I'm trying to do some new logo stuff with my channel, with my Instagram, with my social media in general. And uh, I created this concept, and it's a stall, obviously, with horns coming out of it, but the horns are pencils. Now, <laughs> I just, I kind of did it. I really liked the idea. I think it's, I think it's sick as fuck. And uh, I'm going to try messing around with some uh, short horn versions, too. But I'm gonna for right now. I'm gonna leave it as as this is, and I'm, I've got to put another maybe five or six hours into. I probably have about that many already so far, and this has all been done strictly with with this tablet, with this small ass tablet. Um, so really, there there is alternatives to like the Wacom tablets, the Cintiqs, and uh, all the other expensive tablets that are out there. I created this with about six or seven hours of time, and. Um, a really small tablet so really the possibilities are uh, endless the biggest <coughs> the biggest thing that I've found though really as far as a learning curve is the um, looking at the screen and like drawing and not looking at like your hand and looking at the tablet instead that's been probably the single biggest learning curve that I've had and really the main the main fix that I've had for that is just being sketchy with your preliminary sketches, uh, not worrying about being perfect right off the bat because, you know, that's what the undo button's for. That's You can go back, you can, you can make your changes uh, that you want to make. If you don't like a line, you can, you know, go back and make the changes that you want to make. And that's been the biggest help. Now, granted, I just, you know, I like using the eraser. I like doing all that. But if you're if you're trying to save money overall, I mean, art supplies are expensive. 
and uh and this isn't a bad idea this isn't a bad investment and as far as sketches like i could see myself doing this to save paper i burn through a lot of paper with shitty sketches and uh it, it kind of sucks because i uh you know, I want to save my materials for good stuff, for good art. And burning through it like this can be kind of kind of shitty because, like, oh, I'm burning through all this. I'm wasting all this money on drawings that are just, you know, complete shit. So I'm using the uh, the brush pack, the Chow T Webster brush pack. Um, the main anchor that I've found that I really liked has been the Your New Favorite anchor, ironically. And it leaves a pretty nice line, um, I've noticed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to do a little bit of inking here on this skull. I'm doing this mostly just as a demo. Um, I know I know this is this is actually coming out kind of shitty, but we're just we're going to have a little bit of fun here. Okay, so this is what we what we did in the time that we had. Uh, I wasn't gonna spend too much time on this, only because I was using it as a just as a demo to kind of give you an idea of what can be done with this uh, tablet. I like it a lot. Um, I plan to use it a lot more. Uh, I eventually want to upgrade. That'd be that'd be nice, but that's a ways down the road. So if you haven't, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And uh, make sure you don't miss any future content because I'm going to try to get back to uploading fairly, uh, fairly more consistently. That is the uh, the plan. So again, hit that like button, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.